Welcome to Knowledge, the official podcast of the College of Arts and Sciences at Florida State University. On today's episode, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of archaeological excavations by FSU students and researchers at Cetamira del Chianti, a dig site located in the Tuscany region of Italy. We're joined first by Nancy de Grummond, the M. Lynette Thompson Distinguished Research Professor in the Department of Classics. De Grummond is also the Director of Excavations and Research at the Cetamira del Chianti site since 1983. Cetamira del Chianti is a settlement in the ancient world, it was inhabited by Etruscans, Romans, and also during the Italian Middle Age. And it's located in Italian, they're called Monti del Chianti, which means the mountains of Chianti. And our site is fairly high above sea level, about 2,000 feet above. And it is quite rural. It's in a remote part of the countryside. And we think that in antiquity, it was not a big city, but rather uh, a settlement where there were people of middle or lower class, ordinary people, we might say, in the ancient world. So we have been investigating details of their daily life. We're concentrated on learning about them from the settlement itself, from things like an Etruscan sanctuary, where we find out about their gods and their rituals. And right next to it is an artisan's quarter where we had artisans who were working on making things of iron and clay and cloth and things that would then help them to participate in trade in the ancient world. The Romans came in and took over the land and there was then created there a Roman villa. So we see some of the activities that have to do with the life in that period of the early Roman Empire. This excavation started 50 years ago, and the actual Chetamora day when they opened the site was September 9th, 1973. So September 9th, 2023 is the official 50th anniversary. And though we've had a number of special events and celebrations in Italy so far, we have not yet brought the celebration home to the Department of Classics, to Florida State University. So we are planning for that day, it is a Saturday, to be a very special day in which we have presentations. And some of these will be live, people who are actually here. Some will be on Zoom. We will also have some posters and we will also have some rotating slide displays. And we hope to have many things that will help us to look back on all 50 years, and just take stock of everything we've done. We'll have papers by the students. Myself, as a director, I'll be giving a paper. We will have a fascinating paper that has to do with our discovery of ancient waterlogged grape seeds at Chetamora. Chetamora is in the Chianti region, And so this is the region that is famous for those wines called Chianti. And so we hope and trust that we will be finding some very important information about the history of vineyards and of making wine in the ancient world. So we'll be having a special report on that with the latest findings by a team at York University in England who is working on that. The night before, we are designating as a night at the museums. And we will have a couple of uh, presentations that have to do with the exhibitions that the students and I have held. I have always believed that the students should be very much involved with our work. First of all, Chetamura del Chianti was started as a training excavation where students would come and would learn how to excavate, learn basic things about how you set up a trench, how you measure things in the ground, how you handle artifacts as you remove them, how you handle artifacts when you wash them, brush them, clean them. So all along, we have done a lot with uh, teaching students how to dig. And uh, the site is pretty rich for that because we do have three different phases of civilization that are represented with the Etruscan materials, 
the Roman stuff. And then from the Middle Ages, we also have artifacts. And all of these cultures have left behind some of their buildings so that students are discovering walls and floors and understanding something about the plans of buildings that may no longer be showing above ground. So that's a pretty exciting part of it. As time went by, I saw that it was really important for us to notify everybody, the public, to um, somehow disseminate to others what we were actually finding and what it would mean. And I saw that it was important to get the students involved in this too. So uh, we began by simply having an extra course in museum studies where the students would spend extra time off the site with reading and with planning. And then it came to be that as we held actual exhibitions, I have always involved students at some level. So they may help with writing the entries that go in the exhibition catalog. They may help with making drawings, designs that help to interpret the objects. They may help with assembling the artifacts that are going to go in a particular section. They may even help put the artifacts into the cases right before they're closed so that they put them in exactly the right spot with the label that helps to identify the object and what's important about it. In recent years, I extended this from simply shows in Italy and began to have some shows here in Tallahassee as well. I got interested in doing 3D printing. And so we were able to take sometimes very small shirts, which at least had enough for us to make a 2D design of the cross section of a vessel, let's say. We could take that 2D design and spin it into a 3D design, turn on the printers here in uh, FSU and print out objects that were really whole, whereas what we originally had was just a fragment, just a, a part of a pot. So the students learned how to do the 3D printing. And we have had shows here in Tallahassee that were totally student shows. So that has been part of their museum training as well. I counted it up and with the two we gave this summer, we have now held 13 exhibitions on Chittamora. And I wonder if there are any other excavations in Italy or indeed in Italy and Greece that have published their material in that way, making it available with the actual artifacts and explanations. So this is something which is very special about Chittamora and we're very excited about. So we will be uh, celebrating that on the night at the museums, which takes place right before Chittamora Day on uh, Saturday, September 9th, 2023. Next, we're joined by Ileana Sanders, a student working with the Chetamira exhibition at FSU's Florence Study Center. So currently I am at the FSU Florence Study Center in uh, Florence, Italy, and I am here working on a museum exhibition that will be housed in the Galleria Bella Arte, which is a room situated inside the Florence Study Center. And we will be curating a museum exhibit about Chetamira del Chianti. Chetamira is an archaeological site in um, the region of Gaioli and Chianti, which is in Tuscany. Our museum exhibit this summer is going to encapsulate the 50th anniversary of the site and wanting to showcase the future of Chetamira and the next 50 years moving forward as well. So I've gone to work with a plethora of individuals at the program, not only current students, faculty, but also faculty from other universities as well who are professors. I've gotten to work closely with Dr. DeGrumman throughout the two years that I've known her, and it's been pivotal in my undergraduate career and as well as just research, being able to learn and gain a lot of experiences, and as well as working with other FSU students at the program because it is a field school, so we all work in tandem. And working with the FSU students is amazing because I get to learn about their experiences and their background as well, because we have archaeology students, but we also have a wide range of majors, biochemistry, biology students, history. And so it's just really interesting learning what has made us all come together <laughs> to work at this site. Experience overall has been phenomenal. That's the best word I can find for this. It's a great program to not only learn about archaeology, learn about the culture, 
and being able to gain more field experience to help propel a future career in archaeology. Along with the 50th anniversary, we are celebrating our connection and relationship with the Florence Study Program, and as well as just the FSU IP program. So Chetamora has long deep-rooted history with FSU, but also we've worked with other institutions. And so Chetamora is just an amazing program, and I'm so happy to be a part of this history and continuing on to create history as well. For more information on Chetamira del Chianti and the 50th anniversary celebrations, visit chetamiradelchianti.com. Thank you so much for joining us on Knowledge. Until next time.